Suppose we have a uniform continuous distribution on the interval from zero to theta, where theta is an unknown parameter. And we would like to find a sufficient statistic for theta. How do we do this? We want to use the factorization theorem. Let's see what happens when we do that. A random sample, x1 to xn, the likelihood of getting that data is each one just has a density of 1 over theta, so it's 1 over theta to the n. That's given that all the xi's are less than theta. However, saying all the xi's are less than theta is the same thing as saying that the largest of the xi is less than theta, the max x, the nth order statistic. So let's make up an indicator function, which is 1 if x is less than theta and 0 else, and so really, to express that condition, we can say the likelihood of x given theta is 1 over theta to the n times the indicator function for xn. All right, well, the indicator function for xn still has theta you know, buried inside it, right? It depends on theta. So we haven't managed to factor out all the thetas. But here's the trick. Now we've factored it. Okay, why can't we always do that? Remember, the trick is we're trying to factor the L such that all the thetas come out in one part and everything else is in another part. And the condition for sufficiency is that the x's only show up in this expression in the form of the statistic. If that is true, then the statistic is sufficient. That's what the factorization theorem says. We don't need all of the data. We only need to know the maximum. And so the maximum is the sufficient statistic.